I'm coming for all of you. Gonna beat you all up. Ha ha! Folks, can we get a petition together and can we like just ban jeans? Bell jump. Bell jump. Jump bell. Bell bell jump. Jump jump. Bell jump. Bell bell jump. Bell jump. Bell 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 jump. Bell jump 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 jump. Bell jump. I'm between times right now. I'm trying to stabilize. My name is Rag Reynolds and I have discovered time travel. Would anyone really care if I were to blow up the sun? First is Australia, then he's talking about England and all these other... Now he's talking about Sweden and Switzerland. Yeah, yeah, I am talking about Sweden and Switzerland. And I'm telling you they're the same place. They both start with a sw. Can you name any other countries that start with a sw? For some stupid reason that I just can't quite understand, I just can't quite grasp, humanity has decided that on big events it makes sense to shoot stupid coloured rockets into the air and watch them blow up into bright lights. And everyone stands around going, ooh. Ah, and claps their hands as if it's something spectacular, as if it's something new they've never seen before. Well, newsflash for you folks, it's not new, it's not, spe it's not spectacular, and it is something you've seen before. Sports, balls, why, I, I don't get it, what's the fascination with balls? Why is it not cubes, or pebbles or stones or just any other shape why balls like i don't get it i mean what's so impressive about moving a ball from this side of the room to that side of the room oh i moved a ball i'm so great at moving balls there's something weird about that you weirdo hey every pony what are your favorite ponies i like rarity and then after saying that this guy called dm slater responds in all seriousness and says Pinkie Pie is mine's. Rarity is lovely though. She really is very pretty. But I love Pinkie Pie optimism and spunk. That's why she is my favourite. Spunk? I like horses. Not fast ones though. They frighten me. Same Connell Popty. Shut up, Twilight Sparkle. You're the worst pony. It's uncle. Don't misgender me, please. Can it, Aunt May? You're a bigot. Plop, plop, plop. I don't know what that means. What kind of brony are you? I'm disgusted. You're all just posers. I'm out of here. Okay, Mr. Margarine. Let's fucking go. I plan to live forever. When I get to the stage where I'm about to die, or I think I'm gonna die, or the moment I do die, I want my body to be cryogenically frozen until a future time where whatever was wrong with me can be fixed. If I have cancer, I'll wait till the last minute, freeze me, and then bring me back when it's guaranteed that my cancer can be cured. As far as death goes for everyone else, I really don't care. If you die, you die. If you don't die, you don't die. Do whatever pleases you. Are you, you from gay, right? Saturn? You, you like men's? Men's? Yeah, you like men? Like main meals when you go to a restaurant? I like a nice steak. Oh, you're racist, right? Racist? Yeah. Well, yeah, I love racing games. Maybe it's just because I have no neck. Like, I, if I do my top button, I choke. I don't, I don't do my top buttons because... I don't have a neck, but uh, they're not comfortable. You have to do your top button. What I'm here to tell you today is that cholesterol is nothing more than a sham. It does not exist, it's not real. Cholesterol was invented by vegetarians and vegans as a way to dissuade meat eaters from continuing to eat meat. There was a specific turtle in the news, and this turtle caused a revolution. This turtle made environmentalists scream at the top of their lungs and do all they could to get plastic straws banned. 
this turtle with a coke habit. This one little turtle and its coke habit managed to kickstart an entire revolution. That is insane. Now, I'm no fan of straws. Plastic, paper, metal, whatever. In fact, if I was to clarify my position on straws, I'd probably come out as anti-straw. I really don't like straws. I don't use them wherever I can avoid not using them. I just really do not like straws. But I feel very strongly on this, and I feel like I need to make this clear to everyone because everyone is missing the point here. Yes, there was a turtle who had a coke habit and he used the straw and he had it up his nose. But that is no reason for us to ban all plastic straws. It's not real. It is not fucking real. Australia does not exist. And I also said, tweeted to my friend saying, you've messed with the wrong person. And he responded with, I'll give you one free shot. You better not miss. That's a threat. That's a threat right there. Rag Reynolds threatened me on Twitter. Don't come up to an Australian and say, Good day, mate. Good day, mate. Good day, mate. Good day, mate. Wonderful. Today is a wonderful day, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, people around the globe. Mr. Margarine, Isaac Butterfield, Butterbum himself, has responded to Rag Reynolds. And it was a terrible response. You know, his first video about me, a couple of years back, was a terrible video. It was not entertaining, it was not good, it was one of the worst videos I have ever had made about me. Somehow he has managed to go and outdo himself with another, even more terrible video. Guys, can you help me out here for a minute? Like, I've got a really serious question and I need some answers to this because I'm a little bit concerned at the moment. Bread is basically a vegetable, right? You people want me to be a villain? You people want to hate me? You people want something, someone, a symbol that you can despise, that you can fight against? <clears throat> then okay, I will be that villain. I will be that symbol. And that is why I, Rag Reynolds, have officially joined the dark side of the force. Demi! Demi! I won't ask twice, Demi. If you want to eat today, you're gonna to come out here and you're gonna fucking do it! You mean. Red Ring Notes! Red Ring Notes! The Kooey's Led You Back! Red Ring Notes! Red Ring Notes! The Scottish Mastermind! You think Stray a fake? You fucking cocksucker! Fucking England is fake! I think you fuck with I'm here now in Australia! <gasps> oh, oh. Oh. oh, I think I just got some vomit at the back of my throat. Not so much I care about your message next. Bagged freaking milk. Bagged milk. Seriously, you expect me to believe that bagged milk is something that exists other than just on a TV show as a joke? with a choice. When you walk into a store, there are bottles of still water, there are, there's flavoured water, there is fizzy drinks, there is fruit juice. You can get an alcoholic drink. Yet for some reason, there are people in this world who will walk into the store and select, will, will choose of their own free will to pick up sparkling water as opposed to anything else. Hey look, it's short videos. Regular sized videos. 
<laughs> Why do you bully a disabled girl? Short videos? Bullying a disabled girl. Well, you a shaking in your boot. Bullying a disabled friend. Pounding an iron is one of the hands. I hear you, girl. You want a disabled girl. Tall videos. Your arms are just too short. Boy, box you have well regular size. Where are you? Where are you? Bullying a disabled girl. Bullying a disabled girl. This is a fight you cannot bend. Yeah. Fuck up, cunt. Scotland is so irrelevant, so shut the fuck up, cunt. We're way fucking smarter than you, cunt, so get a life and stop whinging about every other country and worry about you own, you bloody fucking wanker. I don't understand why these people are so upset. How can you be so upset because some apparently stupid fat guy from Scotland, your words, not mine, is shouting at the camera about how your country isn't real? If I really have no point and I'm really that stupid, then why are you so worked up? Why are you freaking out at me in my comments every single day? Why do I have people sending me death threats? Clearly I've struck a nerve somewhere. And clearly it's working for me. And that's why I will continue to do it. North Korea. That place I know is real and I know it's real because that has the leader that pooped his pants. I made a video about that. That's who watches Fortnite videos. Four-year-olds. Four-year-olds watch Fortnite. <coughs> that was my scared knee. Nee. Pleasantly surprised knee. Nee. <coughs> Angry knee. Nee. Happy knee. Nee. <coughs> Amused laughing knee. You know how when you're in the kitchen Right, you're walking through your kitchen, you've just spread some jam on some toast, and you drop the jam, you, dr you drop the toast. It hits the floor, okay, and almost always, it is always the jam that hits the floor. The side that has been jammed, the side that has been buttered, is the side that hits the floor. And it's, I know, it's to do with physics and whatever. And it's because jam just naturally is attracted to the ground. It will go poo and it will hit the ground. Well, what I was thinking is what if we got in touch with some sort of company to make safety kits? And we could, for example, imagine you find yourself on a skyscraper and someone pushes you off the skyscraper. Wouldn't it be very handy if you had a little jar of jam in your pocket? You can pull out the jam mid-fall, open it up, spread some of that jam on your feet, and you'll land on your feet. Yeah, right, now sure, you're, you're maybe going to break some legs there, you're going to be in a lot of pain. But surely that's much better than landing on your head and breaking your neck or your head exploding and you die. I don't care about good, I don't care about bad. I just am. Look at this world map. Seems like a normal world map, right? Well, look closer. The right circle at the bottom right. Now, what's that? No, Australia. Where do you think it is? Do you think it's under the sea? Do you think it's in the sky in space? Do you think it's in a make-believe country? Do you think it's in your bedroom? Maybe it's in your body, but okay, it's in your body, you've got symptoms, but can you see it? Can you feel it? Can you reach out and grab it? Take it by the hand? Do a little tangle? Can you do that? I hate you, Dad. That's it, no memes for a month. Oh, did, did you people watching think I was about to apologise? I was going to apologise for the things I said about Australia. Was I going to apologise for that? Was I going to apologise for allegedly bullying other YouTubers? For calling you people morons? No. I will never apologise for that because I do not issue apologies. Morons. Dum-dums. You people are fools. You are little bitches and you need to go away and never come back. I despise every single one of you. And you do not deserve anything other than my disdain and contempt. You are terrible, insignificant little peons. I will crush you with my boot. You're just a sad man with zero integrity. And I take pleasure in knowing that I am superior to you. How many states are in America? Like 80 or something? Someone tried to tell me it was 50. 
But I know it's not 50. I know there's way more than that. I know there's at least like 83 or something. I, I know that for a fact. Anyway, some of those places are definitely real. Like Texas is a real place. Everyone knows Texas is real. But then you get other places like Wyoming. N Nebraska. The North Pole. is a message to Australia after, after thinking for so long, how could they be so stupid? But I realise now that it was I who was the fool. I was a fool because I didn't realise that I was coming at you guys from the wrong orientation. Okay, Junior, so I'm gonna teach you about some drugs and why you should never do them. Is that alright with you? Yes, Dad, that would be great. Okay, well... I've got some stuff here for you. I just want, I mean, you're going to try it, and you're going to try it all. And after you've tried it, you're you're never going to try it again. Get your fucking ass down there. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Fucking snort that. Mm. Snort it. Snort it. Have you learned yet? Have you learned that drugs are bad, Ryan Jr.? <laughs> now that he's gone, it's my time to shine. <laughs> Don't you ever fucking tell me to throw a shrimp on the barbie, dickhead! Hey, Mr. Margarine, can you do me a favour and throw a shrimp on the barbie, dickhead? The epitome of perfection, the step-by-step -step guide to being a great human being. Oh, You know, do you know what, do you know what a diet of bread does to a man's bowels? Do you know what kind of shit a man does after he eats nothing but bread for five days straight? It's not pretty. It was like I was shitting out the Black Death. Anything negative about Steve Irwin? Steve Irwin was overrated. What's so fantastic about that man? Who cares? I much prefer George of the Jungle. I much prefer Bear Grylls. A stingray killed him? Really? Who gets killed by a stingray? Seriously? <laughs> I'd take five of those for breakfast. Michigan. I'm from King Kong. So fake places. Michigan's not a real state. Yes it is. You know, no it's, it's not. It, this has been like proven like last year. Oh well I didn't know that. Well obviously okay, you wouldn't have known that. Stop, stop trying to be like a super smart person because in reality I'm not. Like I mean. And with King Kong against the CCP. King Kong? What, what's King Kong got to do with anything? I told me to read what, what, it. Are, you, are you from Kong. England or something? Because you have an accent. From like, England? Oh, I mean, you've got an accent too. Everyone's got an accent. Accent? Accent? Like, That's just accent? rude. Rag, rag, rag. So you don't like the Mr. Shut Podcast. up. I'm not talking to you, Scaly Boy. I'm talking to regular size videos. So you go sit in the corner and I'll speak to you when I'm ready. Do, do, do you have a point here? Do you have a valid question for me? If you have a valid question, I would have loved to hear it. But instead, you're just talking out of your ass like a complete idiot. Like, what is your problem here? Are you, are you, are you that stupid? You'll see what the history books say. You will see how history remembers us. The resistance against these weeaboos. What do you think uh, the bad guy's gonna win? Of course, the bad guys are going to win. The bad guys always win. Bad times may not last, but bad guys always finish first, Anna. That's just the rules. We have Amy sitting over there just out the frame, member of the Young Pretenders, a Disney Hinkson. 
And you know, looking around at the opposing team, we've got Erin there who's putting her t-shirt on backwards again. And if you don't have it on the right way, you're not allowed to compete. You get out of my frame and tell the story. The master is telling a story. You stand there and put your t-shirt on the right way around. So who was your last Hold on, I'm not done. Looking around at this competition, they can't put the t-shirts on right. One's got a broken foot, one's bald. This one's half a sl like what? <laughs> I'm I'm a little under the weather. I'm under motivated. I'm under trained, and I'm still tough enough to beat these losers. <laughs> it isn't real. Can't you delusional fucks get that through your thick skulls? I pray to bread, you know. I pray every night to bread, the lords of bread. Bread gods, please give me good bread. And they always deliver. They always deliver. They are consistent in their messaging. They are consistent in their delivery. I appreciate the bread gods. Honestly, they're pretty fucking gross. Like, I don't even like the idea of stepping on these things. If anything, this might be the one thing that is definitely going to kick my ass because I might, like, we're going till the death, right? I don't know how long snails live. How long do snails live? For all I know, snails live like a hundred years. And in that case, I'm not going to stand on this thing because they're disgusting and I don't want to... Yuck. So, I'm going to like run away and then maybe the snail outlives me because they're slow and sure, don't like slow things like their their aging slows down. That could be, that you know, that could be a shout. Like if I want to live forever, all I need to do... Uh... And I, I keep seeing this comment over and over again. You're racist. You're saying this country doesn't exist. That's very racist of you. Yeah? Of course I'm racist. I spend all of my spare time and money on racing games. I spend all of my free time playing racing games. I spend so much time and money on racing games. Because those are the people who sleep in their little stupid race car beds. And in the middle of the night, they're they're up through the night, playing on their mum's iPad, watching your videos on their mum's iPad, tucked into their little race car beds, with an empty cup of hot chocolate at the side of the bed. That's the kind of people watching your videos, Mr. Marjorie. Demi Lovato, do you know me? Hi, Demi. You changed a lot. Is that a new hair color? No, this is the same hair I've always had. I've You've just done been... something with your hair? I've not styled it in a while. I've been locked inside for a long time. I can see. I just wanted to talk to people from the outside world. That is very cool of you, Demi Lovato. If you don't like the taste of that, there's something wrong with you. My eyes are watering, it's that beautiful. But obviously, like this, this is not a vegetarian meal, so I cannot do this. We're gonna go over here. And as you can see here, this is a fruit bowl. And in this fruit bowl, there's a lot of Different strange things. I don't know what most of these. I think this is an orange just because it's orange. Uh, these look like pears. So I'm just going to take one of these red things. Simple enough. And all we're going to do is we're going to take this red thing. Boom. Vegetarian meal. As I am sure you are all aware, if you put something like this or a vegetable on top of a meat product, it kind of cancels out the meat. My name is Sarah Pouncer. I'm 23 years old. I'm very depressed, I have borderline personality disorder, but then I found out about real stream news, so I tried messaging him, and it went well for the most part. Hello, I don't know if you're the right person to talk to, but I have some info you might find useful. I know him and he abused me, he's a monster. We need to do the interview, I'll tell you everything. Yes, do that, sounds good. Thanks so much. Uh. Is everything alright? Yeah. What's going on? Um, it's, it's emotional. It's emotional? Yeah. Surprise, Surprise motherfucker. I can't. I can't. It's ridiculous. I can't. Oh, is it ridiculous? <laughs> is it ridiculous? <laughs> Is it ridiculous? I love that wig, dude. Oh, oh, oh thank that you. Is dope. 
You know, you know what's great? The fact that you have zero credibility. <laughs> England is a place where they have tea and they drink a lot of tea. And for some reason, there's a guy called Earl Grey out there. And what are we talking about Earl Grey? England's fake. Okay. England's fake. They drink black tea. Who drinks black tea? No one actually like, but that's, that's a lot of nonsense. Anyway, my point is, parts of England are fake. Yes, yes, to the death. This is war. It is war. <laughs> Are you okay? Perfectly fine! I don't present you with my left hand to shake and then follow up and punch you with my right hand. I'm not the kind of person who does that. I'm not the kind of person who bows to your face and sticks a knife in your back. I don't do that. When I see a, when I go into a clothing store and I see over there on the shelf there's a pair of jeans, it makes, it makes me feel nauseated. I want to just like go spit phlegm on them. It makes me look down on the people who run that store. Like what the hell is wrong with you? I was so disappointed and pissed off to find out halfway through the movie that Piglet's big movie is not a movie for adults. I swear to fucking god that basket at the bottom of the stairs it just... Look. Oh my... Ow! For full, oh, for snuck's fake! What are you doing? Get the fuck out of there! Yeah, Demi, you! I fucking see you there, Demi! Get out! My fucking god! Fucking this way! Come on! Yeah, I've got you by the fucking... I don't care if you're fucking... I don't care if you fucking re! Damn Get the You're making me fall trying to drag you up these fucking stairs. These are the Kelpies. I, I like to come here a lot as of late. Um, just when I'm feeling alone, which is quite a lot. They're not too far from home and that's great. And honestly, it's for me, it's a bit like a spiritual thing. It's a bit of a spiritual thing. Like, What's, the, what's that one movie? Black Beauty, I think it's called. But yeah, these guys, I like to have a little talk with them. You know what is worse than child molesters, you know? People who wipe the grease off of their food. That's what. Do you want the grease wiped off your food? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I've always loved toast. You know, I, I love bread in general. But obviously, if, you, if you're gonna eat toast, if you're gonna do it the right way, you need to be able to spread butter on that toast. You need to be able to spread butter. No matter how impossible any given task is for his hooves, he won't let me help. He has to do it himself. So yeah, it's difficult because I now need to learn a different way to spread the butter on my toast. It's not. It's not real. It's a fantasy. It's no more real than Narnia. Or Middle Earth. Or that weird place where the Teletubbies live. I am not exaggerating. I am not being sarcastic. I am not slightly exaggerating. When I tell you that ketchup is the most vile thing ever invented. And you pick up that phone. You rewind the video to the start and you start watching Rag Reynolds talk shit about Fortnite YouTubers and the Fortnite community and you think this, this motherfucker 
This motherfucker. I am, I am, I'm four and a half. I'm not four. How dare he say that people who watch Fortnite are only four years old. I'm four and a half. This guy, I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. In 2019, I will fight PewDiePie. Apparently, he's actually funny now. Is PewDiePie worse than child molester? The answer is no. I must take up the fight. And it's going to blow him out of the water. I'm going to get millions of views, become super famous. I'm going to cuck him with his girlfriend, or his fiance. And it'll be the end of YouTube as we know it, when Rag Reynolds takes over, all thanks to this groundbreaking idea. Is PewDiePie real? Yes, he motherfucking is real. So that they could take over YouTube and force us to listen to Indian music at discos. He's caught up fighting T-Series. He's never going to see me coming. Oh! Do you hear that? Do you know what that is? Do you know what that is? It's the sound of dead pigs. It is their spirits. That is the dead pig, vegan games. Do, do you like my songs and my shows? Did you see me on Disney Channel? I, I wasn't a Disney Channel kid. I was like a Cartoon Network kid. Oh, that's a shame. That's, I think it's better for the human race if we have less Disney kids, to be honest. <laughs> well... To be fair, Disney didn't work out too well for me. Yeah, no. Disney, yeah. Yeah. So what are you doing with your life now these days, then? Um, I, I spend most of my days in the wardrobe. You go out to a nice restaurant, you sit down and you think, okay, I really fancy a nice refreshing glass of Coca-Cola. Just to get me started, maybe I'll have wine after it or something, but right now I'm quite dehydrated. I want something sweet. Get me a glass of Coca-Cola. Great, okay. So, the waiter runs off, gets you a glass of Coca-Cola, brings it back. Only for you to discover that you don't just have a glass of Coca-Cola. You have a glass of Coca-Cola that also has a slice of lemon in it. What? That's not what you ordered. You ordered a glass of Coca-Cola. Not a glass of Coca-Cola flavoured with lemon. There must have been some mix up here, surely. But no, they did this on purpose. Doesn't that make you angry? It makes me very angry. <coughs> oh my lord. <coughs> but, so then I printed out one of the pages and I thought, you know what, I know something way better. And some highly flammable rubbing alcohol. There we go. Come on. Bye-bye. Much better. What? You don't need rubbing alcohol to set paper on fire, you fucking retard. Disgusting people. They eat snails. Now, I can say I've had frog legs. They also eat frog legs. And frog legs are delicious. Hippity hoppity, women are property. That's what frog legs say. That's what they say when you pick them up to eat them. They go, hippity hoppity, women are property. But yeah, I don't think that it's necessarily harder to perform other tasks, but yeah, it's certainly a challenge because I have to start thinking about new ways to approach things because the ways that I've been used to, the ways I learned growing up, those things, those ways, they don't work for me anymore. And so now I kind of have to Look at things a different way. It's a, it's a puzzle. What do you do in this situation when you desperately want to bully someone? You see someone out there who deserves to be bullied. Who has done something stupid or cringe where they deserve to be given a hard time. They deserve to be bullied. But people around you are going to judge you and you're going to get in trouble for doing that bullying. What is the answer there, I was asked. Can someone explain to me why sparkling water is a thing? Who likes it? The Australian flu. Really? Really? 
you expect me to believe that a country that doesn't even exist has somehow managed to spread a deadly flu, a deadly disease to the other side of the world. So we have this little guy, Gilles Serviette. I made him a Facebook profile and everything. Gilles profile on Grindr, Gilles Serviette, 33 years old. Did you guys know that there's people out there on the streets that don't have homes? Like there are literally people who don't live in houses. There are people who sleep on concrete in the streets. They don't have clean clothes, they don't have food every day. Did you know that? Because I didn't know that. I've only just found out. Doesn't, uh, the lucky isn't too bad. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I love your hair. Thank you, it's me, Demi Lovato. Four years ago, I published this book, but enough with that. It's garbage. I'm a man who plays by my own set of rules. I only have two gears, and those gears are silence and attack, and that's where my new book comes in. Medium rare, a guide to fine dining and perfect timing. It is retarded. It's stupid. Oh no! I used the R word. Now people are really gonna come for me. People are gonna really cancel me for using that really bad word. <laughs> All crime is legal for a day. Where do you start? My day really doesn't change at all. I just keep doing whatever the fuck it is I want to do. I just do what I want to do. If it's illegal, it's illegal. If it's legal, it is legal. I do what I want to do. And I have a great moral compass. That is why I'm not out killing people or stealing from people or any of these other heinous crimes. I do what I feel is right. I live by my own moral codes and if I end up in jail because of them, then so be it. I I legit have goosebumps on my legs right now and oh, oh my god, I've got shivers. <laughs> Some people, for whatever reason, think it's okay to call me a liar, to doubt me. People say, where's your source for this? And I tell them the same thing every time. When I tell you something, I do not need a source. I am your source. They are lying to themselves, they are lying to everyone around them. You do not look good. You look like an idiotic twat who deserves to be thrown in a lake with some boulders tied around their fucking ankles. Anna. Boomerangs don't come back! Where is the coronavirus? Have you seen it? Because I haven't seen it. Today is a new day. Today is a new day. Yesterday is an old day. And today is a new day. It's me, Demi. Demi Lovato. Have you seen me on Disney Channel before? You're stupid as fuck, bro. <laughs> My bad, dude. My bad. I didn't mean that shit. What happened? I know. What happened? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I've, I've been inside for a long time. I love you. Ryan's toy review, Ryan's world, whatever you want to call this little kid. I am going to kick that kid's ass. I am not above kicking the ass of kids. Like, I will do that. I do not care. By the way, I meant saws for the things I've said before. No one cares, virgin. And I'm just gonna jump right to it and tell you, I went, I walked to the end of the world and I fell off. Bullying builds character. 
These savages are doing the toilet in a hole. What, are we living in the 1300s or something? Like, what What do you think is going on here? Why are we doing the toilet in little holes in the ground? Uh, swans are quite terrifying, honestly. One bit my finger when I was a child, and I've been terrified of those for, like, most of my life. I have never once claimed to be a good person. You, you know what? The, glove, the gloves are off. No gloves here. No kitty gloves. Australia is not a real place. Get that through your thick fucking skulls before you make any more comments to me trying to tell me that you know better than that you live there or whatever other bullshit you're telling yourself. Hey Brucey boy, I know you're going through a tough time right now. I am not a boomer. Who on earth thought it was a good idea that instead of doing that we would appease lazy farmers. Oh, these farmers, they really need more light. They need more daylight in their days. So instead of them just moving their schedules around, setting their alarm clocks for a different time, disturbing their routine, instead, we're gonna disturb the rest of the world. This has been a long time coming, folks. A long time. I've been training relentlessly for many weeks. I'm ready to beat up my hairs. Oh, hello there, Mr. Margarine. Hello, uh, you've not heard from me in a little bit. I thought I would just grace you with my presence today, Mr. Margarine, since uh, I've not heard from you since I challenged you to fight and you backed down so cowardly, like the cowardly charlatan that you are. So I gave up, I dried my dangly bits off, and I left the bathroom. Hiya! Hi ta! Hoo hoo hoo! Force choke! Lightning! You're drugged up, you're delusional. Australia isn't real. I don't get it, dude. I don't understand why why you're so upset with me because I didn't post the stream. That's all I gather from this. Because you you're did not, not say smart, once, right? listen, before. I will not tolerate weeaboos any longer. Isaac Butterfield! Are you a butterfly? Kim Jong-un pooped his pants. <laughs> uh, Smokey the Dragon, that's another one. Put the picture here for you again. I-A-M-T-A-L-K-I-N-G-A-B-O-U-T-Y-O-U. Oh, sorry. I forgot you didn't finish preschool. That's probably still too hard for you. Let me try again. A e a m t a o k e n g a b o a t y o a. Get the message, stupid. Nee. No English, amigo. Demi Lovato. I no entiendo. Demi Lovato. I love you, baby. Demi, Demi. Lovato. Oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> if you need proof that kangaroos are robots, then please just watch this following clip. 
You see, B YouTubers do not understand something. They don't understand something so important to the rest of the population, to the rest of reasonable human beings, and it is something that prevents them from ever being relatable and from ever being enjoyable to watch here on this platform. And that is that B YouTubers do not understand the B movie. I feel like I've got more chance against a lion than I do against a cow. For some goddamn reason. <sighs> Would you believe it if I told you that J Station ate my hamster? Well, I don't care if you believe me, folks, because it happened. Obviously, exercise is very important for both horse and human alike. So the way I see it as a sort of horse-human hybrid, I feel like it's my personal responsibility to make sure that my body is in a good condition. And, you know, I've been dieting a lot for that reason. I've been trying to lose some pounds. And at the same time, that means I have been out there and I've been doing a bit more exercise than I normally do. And so I'll go for walks, I'll go to the park. Sometimes I'll just walk. And then other times when I'm feeling a little bit more horse-like, Sure, I'll gallop. Whales? Whales. They've got a damn dragon on their flag. How could you have a dragon on your flag and not be a fake place? Dear America, dear Americans, and dear anyone associated with America, please note that you pronounce the word herb incorrectly. It is not herb. It is not herb. There is an H. The word starts with an H, and you pronounce the H. Hello? Hello, Spoon? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Why do you have biscuits that aren't biscuits? Biscuits are supposed to be what you call cookies. Whereas a cookie is supposed to be chocolate chip. Chocolate chip cookies are what cookies are. Biscuits are custard creams and digestives and pink panther wafers and hobnobs. People identifying, oh, that's a Karen. That, oh, that is an example of a Karen. Well, I'm here to tell you folks, although not as bad as the B word, Karen is still pretty bad. It's not nice to label people that way. Oh, what's next? We're gonna have penguins that can fly? You claim it was Discovered by Captain Cook. You know what that sounds like to me? It sounds as legit as Captain Hook, as Captain Birdseye, and Colonel Sanders. That's what it sounds like to me. If you vape, you do not deserve human rights. You janky ass cunt weaves are really beginning to get on my nerves. To start living my life with hooves. Uh, a lot of tasks are certainly, I don't want to say more difficult, but I want to say I have to approach them differently. Fat people who are fat just because of their genetics. Like, whoever you are, you're probably dead now, but l let's bring that person back to life just so we can lynch them again. You know the whole great emu war in Australia, where uh, these two guys with machine guns lost a war to a bunch of dumb birds? Yeah, that's not going to happen with Rag Reynolds. If they really wanted to win that war, all they had to do was give me a call. Send me in there. I don't even need a machine gun. I'll go in there with my bare hands and wipe out their entire population of emus. Not a problem. Those things mean nothing to me. They are bums and I will stomp them. Why do we, as a civilized society, Allow ties to exist. And I don't get I'll why send you, you an did email it. After this, and I'll tell you. And I'll, and I'll, yeah, but I'll why? Why did you even do it in the first place? You, you wanted to be on my channel, right? No, right? I didn't care about being on your channel. Then I'd why did you send me a stream? Happily be on the why blog. Why did you send the me a stream? Has some integrity. The, the blog is a decent channel, unlike yours. They're not you a decent no person at all, dude. This it's nonsense to think that Australia could be a real place. Have you seen me on Disney Channel before? I need to drink my juice. I brought this with me from the future. It just looks like orange juice, but it is a formula I was working on for a very long time, and it should stabilize 
my condition. Ugh. Ugh. Folks, I am not a vampire. But you may call me a wizard, you may call me a sorcerer, you may call me a genius, you may call me mind-blowing. I may be blowing your mind as I come back in time to warn you of the dangers. It was hard to understand people sometimes because, you know, I don't speak spaghetti, I don't speak pasta, I don't speak that weird language. I speak the Queen's English. How does someone even learn to speak that language, honestly? Like, how does that happen? Like, what happens when you're a baby? Do you get bumped in the head or something and you come out speaking a different way? Is that how everyone who doesn't speak English ends up speaking a different language? The material you're wearing around your legs would be better suited to making a couch. His bubble shooting friend, I think his name's uh, like Bubbletron or something. You know, the little water one with the shell. I'll put a picture here for you so you know who I'm talking about. I had my hands swapped for hooves. On a positive note, we've entered them for next year's Grand National. And to be fair, our roses have never been so good. Pikamon, Pokemon friend at the side of you. You know that yellow guy, uh, Pikamon? I think his name is. I'm pretty sure it's Pikamon, the, the one with the electric powers, and he goes, Pika! And he, like, shoots it out. Pikamon, I'm pretty sure that's his name. Or, you know, if I wanted a material, a fabric, a cloth to hang around my neck, I would just get a noose and kill myself. Daylight savings time. The fact that it exists really, really grinds my gears. I want to know what's wrong with Americans. In regards to their gravy, what the hell are you people eating? Bread everywhere. I don't need more bread, okay? Get the bread away from me. I've had enough fucking bread. Winnie! Winnie! <coughs> Ebola. Cabbage. I have taken extreme measures. And I have blocked Heinz ketchup. Now we're doing Scouse. And Scout, just why? Why is Scouse a thing? It is absolutely vile to listen to. Like, you do not want to hear Scouse sp people speak. That is just... Please never speak again. I'm way more you really than you ever will like be. You're about to cry. You may, you may want to calm down. No, why, dude, why, you're pissing me off. You you're an idiot. You are an idiot. You are an idiot. Why did, you, why did you do a face reveal and now you're back to the masks? I don't know what you're talking about. I want to rule everything. Folks, it is imperative that we ban ketchup. It made no sense to me because people in my comments are like, what do you mean East Korea? What do you mean West Korea? Those aren't places. And that makes absolutely no sense. Of course those are places. If you have a North of somewhere, if you have a South, of course you've also got an East. Bagged milk. Who in their right mind consumes bagged milk? I'm giving you my word. As you know, I'm a truth talker and I'm giving you my word right now for each hour that goes by that you are not a guest on my podcast, I will drown a kitten. And I shall have no remorse. No! No! Bag milk? <laughs> Really? Bagged milk? Why are you yelling at us? <laughs> because I'm so disgusted. I'm offended by the fact that you people have bagged milk. Like, who does that? Who has bagged milk? That doesn't even make any sense. So, so you, you don't want to defend bagged milk? What's wrong with it? It's pretty no, disgusting care. if you ask me. Rag Reynolds stalked me. He literally stalked me. Sand is not vegetable, okay? Can you get that through your mind? Can you get that through your skull? Please? I only have two gears. Those gears are silence and attack. I am so utterly sick to death of Scooby-Doo. Like, is it just me or is anyone else? Like, does anyone care about this stupid dog anymore? I mean, how many shows has this stupid mutt had? Catch me outside. Catch me down the park, son. I'm ready. You can't handle me. You've nothing for me, okay? I can't believe that you're even thinking 
of challenging me that there's people in my comment sections who actually think they stand a chance against Rag Reynolds. Hmm. But dang! You didn't see that, did you? Way too fast for you. We'll destroy you, Mr. Margarine. This is Tom Nook, pictured here for you. He is a terrorist. I liked you until the last 30 seconds of the video. You're a bad person and you'll be hanging your head in shame about this series one day. You know, I would really like to get this one framed. There's a few in here that I'm probably going to show that I would like to have framed. This is certainly one of them. Vegemite is atrocious, it is disgusting, it is gross. I would rather shovel shit out of my own arsehole straight into my mouth than consume a single drop of Vegemite. Oh. The entire place is just a factory that makes wooden shoes. The entire place is just, a, is just a huge factory in the middle of an island that makes wooden shoes. No! Yeah, I know, because I've spoken to people who claim to have been from the Netherlands and they have informed me that the entire place is fabricated. It's just a place that makes wooden shoes. Now, if you don't know what a hiccup is, it's that thing where you go... <gasps> I am so happy to say that yesterday I went for breakfast, folks. But this one, Denmark, a very real place. And I know this because there is a bacon shortage. And you know why there's a bacon shortage? It's because the Denmarkians use bacon as currency. Drown you bastard, drown. Surely eating human beings is not that much different from eating animals. What is wrong with Americans? Hello, yes, I'd, I'd like to report a liar. Then you why did you come at me from nowhere? What what triggered you to hate me? You might have been interested in it because you asked hey, That's exactly what I, I just said. That's Hold what on. I just said. I you want to be on the and channel. Then you will respond. That's how communication works. Oh Tommy, my God. Be quiet. This is Ties are also sexist. I I have spaghetti and you go nom 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 spaghetti 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 I love bread. It is one of my favorite things in the entire world. Perhaps my favorite thing in the world. What is wrong with you, Bill? Why do you have steak for breakfast? Why do you put sugar, icing sugar, on your French toast? Now across the last six years, I've probably been to Spain like 11 times. And I must say, I do not like Spain. I don't like the heat, I don't like sand, so I don't like beaches, I don't like the food, I don't like the wine. I end up with horrible stomach aches and shits every time I go there, and I just do not enjoy it very much. Blowing up the sun might not work out so well for all life on Earth. Now, that's a chance I, I was perhaps willing to take. Scones are supposed to be sweet, not savoury, you morons. Belgium is not a real place. That is... <laughs> Belgium, really. But yeah, I'll, I'll run up and I'll, I'll, I'll kick that dog to death. No problem. Why would you put maple syrup on fried chicken? Poland is probably fake. Come on. They don't have vowels. I do not trust people who drink sparkling water. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I'm going to rate these two genders on this tier list. Look at these messages. 
Look at the disgusting things people have to say in my comments. I am a brilliant man, and that is something that has plagued me for a long time.